how 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 will you enter from there? Why? Why? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Come on, that is the entry. <laughs> Yo, what's good, guys? Deep Effect here again, and in today's video, I'll be talking about entries. Uh, talking about common mistake beginners make when entering the forest market. How I personally enter the forest market, and um, what confirmations and setups I look out for before entering a trade in the forest market. So, um, without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys in the chat. Yo, what's good, guys? Yeah. So yeah, my um, trading view, guys, and um, I'll be showing you guys um things I watch out for. Before I initially enter a trade in the forest market, so I'll make this quick right now. So um, the first thing I watch out for before entering a trade and what you should do is um to um, go always go with the trend. So you have to just know where the market is going. So is it a downtrend or an uptrend? So you have to just know where um the market is heading to in the particular day. So the first thing I actually do is go to the daily. Yeah, so this is the daily. Um, please pardon my um messed up chat. <laughs> like these are some setups I made. So you go to the daily and check for where um the um the um trade is going, and then um, clearly it shows here that this is um this is a downtrend. Yeah, so this is a clear downtrend. So there was an initial retest, I think here yeah before price initially went back down, and the um, yeah, I think this was a clean Fibonacci zone. Yeah, let's let's pull up Fibonacci zone. Yeah, this was a perfect Fibonacci zone that price is tested. So as you can see, guys, price went down. Then after going down, we tested the zero point five zone, and then it's heading down now. So we clearly know that this is a downtrend now. The second thing I watch out for. Um, our major psychological levels in the forest market. So, um, if you don't know what psychological levels are, psychological levels are like levels that um, I think are the sweet are the sweet spot for banks. So, like if you don't know, banks like majorly respect these levels, and they are like levels with their um, random numbers. Like, for instance, let's take um, let's take one point, one point seven five zero, as a psychological level. Um sorry, daily days. So yeah, also one point seven zero five for psychological level made it is. I'm sorry. Yes. Um yeah. So point zero zero in there. Okay. Per psychological level, the next psychological level I usually mark will be, I think, yeah, is it that I mark 1.750750, which is right here. Um, sorry, 1.750050, which is right here. Yeah, I think around there. Or I might, or I might 1.800. That's it. I think this is one point eight hundred. Yeah, so around here. And then let's go below and mark them um, one point. Sorry. Oh, I think I've marked some of the psychological levels, but yeah, I think that is enough. So as you can see, guys, like let's take for instance this um one point. 7500 as you can see if you go previous if you go previously to like past chart you see that price has respected this only like many places just right here there was respect right here just right here so price keep eating this own eating the zone and bouncing off in the zone and bouncing off before it initially broke here and as you can see after the breakout itself the price came back again <laughs> to retest this one so there might be an initial pullback to the uptrend here so, but let's just watch out the trade. So, there's a, there's another one again. So, price he tested this 1.7750 zone again. Multiple times, just multiple times. Same with this, um, yeah, same with this 1.800. As you can see, guys, price came here, retested the 1.800. Also, here, yeah, there was a retest here. 
retest here too. So these psychological levels are just places you should mark out before you initially enter a trade. Like it just helps a lot. It also help it also helps you know where to even set your um take profit and your stop loss sometimes. So make sure you actually mark out psychological levels in your in your charts before entering any trade. Yeah, so the third one for me, guys, is um being patient and wait for and waiting for multiple um confirmations before initially taking my entry. So um take for instance, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think this is a sweet nice trade here. Um, like I previously said, um go with the trend and mark your psychological levels. So this will just help like just make 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 it trade like a pro in the forest market. So let's take for instance this consolidation right here. Yeah. Although I'm a scalper, I'm a scalper and I'm trading like the 15, 30 minutes. But let's just take for instance this. Yeah, so this consolidation right here. So as you can see, guys, price retested the psychological level multiple times. Yeah, it's kind of each year bounce off, each year bounce off, each year bounce off. So this is like a major consolidation. And where I see consolidations, I draw like a box just to just to be clear that I'm not getting it right here because those are like major consolidations. So, like you shouldn't be trading, you shouldn't get in, in a work um, a consolidation happen. So after I saw this, like you know that your first confirmation is the psychological level right here, which is um the um one point seven five zero psychological level. So so you know that like that is a strong level and it has respected, it has been respected by um this thing, by many zones, by many markets um this thing, market movement in the past. So you just know that like that is a strong. That's a very strong psychological level. So that's like one confirmation. The second confirmation I look out for is breakout and retest. So breakout and retest in the consolidation zone. So as you can see, guys, after major consolidation, there was like a huge breakout out of the consolidation before the initial retest again back into this box. So that's like two confirmations. So now I'll be heading to my um entry point which is um, the fourth and last one. So right before I take my entry, right, sorry, um, right before I take my entry, things I usually wash out for is the break and retest like I previously. Year. So after the um, break and retest, I pull up my Fibonacci and um, yeah, take a major look at, um, um sorry, this is upside down too. Yeah, so pull up my feet, draw down to get it entered. Yeah, so right here. So, as you can see, guys, like this was a major break and retest because, yeah, so um, let me go down to the one hour chart so you guys can see it clearly. To show you guys that these are like major confirmations and like. If you are trying this, like losses, like losses, I know losses are actually inevitable, but you actually cut your losses down and trade perfect, like perfect setups. You just occur most times. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that, this is down to the one hour. As you can see, guys, price broke out of the box. Then initially came and retested the box. So this is like the patient. This is like the patient. This is like the patient out outcome out of the forest market. So what I what I usually do after this um breakout and the um, retest is that I pull up my Fibonacci and Fibonacci tells me when to enter and where to set up my stop loss. So here is the golden zone, um the 0 0.5, the 0 0.5 zone. Yeah, so that is like the golden zone of the fifth tip setup. So how 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 will I enter the forest market here? So let's pull up my long um so after the initial break and retest like i told you guys i wait for the um pullback and the retest so i will actually enter probably right here so let's say we enter right here our stop loss will be most times i usually i usually put my stop loss in the 0 0.7 in the 0 0.7 fib zone which is right here or down to the middle of this of this box consolidation box i drew so most times it's usually right, yeah, right here. And then when we say set our stop loss, uh, our sorry, our take profit, our take profit should be in the previous uh previous resistance zone. So 
let's just look back at previous resistance zone. So here is one right here. So this was a previous resistance zone, just right here. Yeah. Yeah, so let's say our TP was right here. So our TP will be right here. At this a major psychological level. So as you can see, guys, a beautiful one to four risk to reward trade. And this played out perfect. So like these are like why you should just mark out your psychological levels and um, waiting for confirmation in the first market. So this is like my major entry st strategy I use in scalping down to the um five minutes so this like works in like most time frames guys so like this is like most like this is, like the major key points you should keep and uh, just make sure that you have a plan for this and just being patient i think yeah i think patience is just the key in the forest market so as you can see guys like if like i was a beginner trader now like most people would just enter here and say the price is heading up then maybe said that maybe said that stop loss just right here and boom, the price will just go back, go back down. It's their stop loss and reverse back up. Like, and they'll be like, wow, like I took this trade though, and price just stopped me out. So this is like the pro way of trading in the forest market. And this is like a clean one to two risk to reward strategy. So you just know where to put your stop loss and where to put your strategy. When you do, when you do all these major things that I've said, like um, going with the trend. So you know that this is a, like a clear uptrend. Yeah, so price, price uh, is retesting this um one point um five zero zone multiple times. So you know that this is like a clear up trend after the break initial breakout from the um, consolidation box, and um you know that this is a major psychological level that you have marked out. And thirdly, being patient and waiting for two confirmations. So first confirmation was the breakout after the consolidation box. Second one was the retest. You know that after a breakout there should be a retest. And the third one was the FIB zone. So it drew your Fibonacci and know that this was in like the golden zone. So that's like three major confirmations before you initially enter the forest market. And uh, yeah, then the trade and this played out perfectly there. Um, lastly, guys, one major thing I would like to tell you guys um, before entering, before taking the entry trade in the forest market is um, having a plan. Like I usually say this a lot, like, like that's the thing you just have to have a plan like you have to have a plan before entering any trade in the forest market you have to know how much you're risking and how much you like to gain in the forest market i think yeah if you have a specific plan and amount you're like risking an amount you are taking out of the market i think yeah but you just like flow with your trading plan and there'll be there'll be this um satisfaction and lack of greediness that will like be overcome in the long run so make sure you have a plan when taking the entries in the forest market yeah so if you like this video guys don't forget to like share and um, subscribe to my channel as more amazing content to be dropping and um, i'll see you guys in the next peace